there's certainly a readiness in audiences around the world because I've shown this film in pretty much, you know, upward of 60, 70 countries by now. And I'm moved and, and thrilled and impressed by the degree to which international audiences look at that list of global statistics at the end of the film, which is the punctuation mark of the film, which doesn't let any viewer off the hook in terms of having them think, ah, this happens to those people over there and it doesn't apply to me. They are very ready to embrace the challenge, the mirror that is held up to them as well. I mean, if you look at a country like the US and compare it to India, in certain respects, the US compares very unfavorably to India. If you look at the laws that exist, and law, after all, is the very foundation of behavior, or should be. Of course, there is the problem of implementation of the law. But the first step is to recognize and enshrine in law what our duties and responsibilities of care are to our fellow human beings. Now, in India, you have Article 14 of the Constitution, which confers absolute equality to women and girls. We don't have that in the United States. In the United States, absolutely my point. You don't have that. You don't even have the basic respect, foundational respect to a girl or a woman that's enshrined in a piece of legislation that says, we're equal, we're all equal. No. You don't have the Equal Rights Amendment Act has not been ratified. There's huge resistance to ratifying it. Why? On what basis do you as a country say, no, we're not going to give that piece of paper and respect to women? We act on it. Excuse me. So why not enshrine it in legislation? It's double dealing. It's hypocritical and it sends the wrong message.